So hello everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to something a little different. I just wanted to do a video real quick for my YouTube channel just highlighting some of the in the wild things. I am actually here at work out in our very quiet and deserted um, outdoor storage area I guess you can call it. And I just wanted to real quickly highlight the facts of just what this pandemic is doing. As a lot of you probably know, I work a retail job and it's actually really um, not exactly ideal that I'm on camera now with a mask, but I really hate the fact that these things, I don't know if I've ever highlighted what these stupid things do to your face you know, kind of rash up your face and it's like, there's no point to ever wearing any makeup on under, under them. And it's a uh, fairly warm outside right now. So you can imagine how that ends up feeling too. Anyways, I just wanted to real talk, quickly talk, touch on the whole mental health that's behind this whole thing. Because when these whole masks started becoming a requirement for particularly for us in retail, I made comments to everybody about how the people that were going to be taking this the hardest are people who have breathing problems and those who have mental health conditions. Um, and that I would include myself as well because I have mild claustrophobia problems. And this mask does nothing but on top of the heat in it, just drives me to high heavens of being like, I just want this fucking thing off my face. No, you're gonna go swearing on YouTube. I don't do that very often. <laughs> um, I came into work just, there was a bunch of things that started adding up for me and it just got to the point that I finally was just like, I had a whole breakdown just a little bit ago. Literally for a good while I was out here. There I am, this thing's slipping down. A good while I was out here with, um, my coworker because I was just in a complete broken down state. I it's one of those things where you never really expect things to continue to get worse and yet they do. They do continue to get worse. I don't really see how this whole thing is gonna be survivable long term. Customers are so entitled and so rude. I mean, this, and, and then on top of with the social unrest that's going on right now with what's going on in our society, I just, I think we're in such trying times. I mean, and, and I honestly feel like it hasn't even gotten to its, its worst yet. I think we could still very well see this continue to degrade from here. Um, one of my coworkers was overhearing our store manager making talking to somebody about the face masks and she was telling somebody about how you know everyone thinks everyone thinks that this whole thing is going to last about a month and then it's going to blow over no because even herself she was saying that this is probably going to be minimum six months um probably coming up on a month by now I think the thing is is I honestly think it's going to be even longer than that I could easily see the face mask becoming a requirement for the next year, mostly just because until the pandemic is completely over, they're always going to sit there and be like, face mask, face mask, face mask, so you, ha you have to use the face mask. I don't know how we can survive this long term. Why is this thing keep falling down while I talk? So anyways, I just want to post this real quick because it's probably the shortest video I've ever made but I just wanted to highlight how this us retail workers are taking the blunt of it and I'm fortunate because I don't have to wear a vest to work right now I'm doing a job that gets me out of it like the only reason I can escape and go on my break right now and record this video is just because of what I'm getting to do right now behind that wall it's a madhouse there are more customers in this store then there should be. Nobody is limiting business. Nobody is counting at the door. Um, I was even talking to my manager about the fact that nobody's even doing temperature te checks of us employees when we go to start our sh shifts here at this job. 
and, you know, and I appreciate everything that my company is doing for, for me and my coworkers, but I, I get it. As a company, they have to survive. They have to continue. However, the problem is, is somebody's got to do something, I guess. Anyways, and there was my phone. I will let in this video here.